And frankly, I think it's like maybe the most useful ability early on, especially since we might need to be making some pretty quick getaways. Can we make it up here? We probably can. Oh, cool. So, regardless, we're still going to take some damage. Heck yeah, brother. Alright, so... Ravioli, no. Ravali. I will take Ravioli's Gale, though. Ravioli is delicious. Ah, there's that hut. Um... Okay. So, like... There's actually no good way to do this. Never mind. Or not. <laughs> uh, is Naboris the... Um, that's the robot humpy camel, isn't it? Von Naboris. Uh, that one's probably going to be the last one that I do. Um... Because, frankly, that one is by far the toughest, I think. I'm going to go do... Well, no, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to get Mipha's Grace first. And then after I get Mipha's Grace, then I'll go do Rivali. And then from Rivali, I will go and do um, the other two in no particular order, necessarily. Shit. All right. The lightning camel. Yeah, robot humpy camel is uh, is going to be the last one I do. I also forgot to count a death there. I don't know why I'm trying to like go down this the tough way. <laughs> when I can just walk back down the quick way. I probably could have walked back down there by the time I've done this. Let's try this again, but maybe just walk down. Um, actually, before we commit to that, though, I want to go ahead and make a marker for this, because we're definitely going to want to check that out. Like, I think, I think that that particular, that particular divine beast is actually pretty cool, but I'm not, I'm just not a huge fan of how difficult the, um, the that specific Ganon fight is. Like, I think that Ganon fight is, like, absurdly difficult. That's just me, though. I know some people really like it, but I think that, like, the lightning redirect and all the other stuff associated with it makes it pretty challenging. Hey, look at that. Here's our friend again. Fancy that, so we meet again. Bottom mine isn't what it used to be. Recovering from a bout of hard work takes a while. If you're hungry, I have an empty pot you can use to cook. Got any tips? Simply open your inventory, grab hold of your ingredients, and toss some of them in. Try to consider how the ingredients will complement one another. You can even make a dish that increases your stamina. It's all about being creative and trying different things. Interesting. So if I'm not mistaken... Yeah, we can make, we can make a potion here. An old man's diary. On the desolate plateau, the only pleasure that brings me comfort is cooking. And today I did myself truly created the perfect dish. I call it the spicy meat and seafood fry. But this recipe not only restores health, but it also keeps me warm even when traveling in snowy mountains. The warm doublet. I do not know how I allowed this to happen, but it seems I forgot to write down that very important recipe. I know it contained raw meat and spicy pe pepper. However, I simply cannot remember what else I used. My age is catching up. Sadly, on this lovely plateau, I only have my own knowledge and memory to rely on. Yeah, I do like the desert, too. If I did find someone who knew the missing ingredient, I would happily award them with my warm duplay. However, it seems unlikely that miraculous thing would ever happen. So... There's a nice big old shroom. What are you doing? After a day like this, I'm exhausted. I'm afraid I'll be needing my bed. You can use my bed if you need to rest for a bit, well, assuming I'm not already in it. Actually, I'm going to take advantage of that so we can bring it back today. Sleep until morning. Ooh, the music. 
Everything is so good about this game. Hey, nice health regen, too. Um... So, I actually don't remember how to craft this recipe, but... We're gonna give it a shot. There's a lot of these mushrooms growing around here, so... Let's just see what happens. Pot lid! Nice. Yeah, and a torch! Okay, well, both those things are good. Um, oh, but we can't actually carry it. Hold on. Uh, oh, wait. No, 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 no. Gotcha. Um, okay, let's see what we can cook. I don't have any raw meat. That's the problem. So... I'm gonna need to get some raw meat. I might be able to get it from this bird. Ah, yeah, look at that. Heck yeah, brother. Raw bird drumstick. Very nice. So, let's combine raw bird with a spicy thing. And let's also combine it with... combine it with a Hylian mushroom. <laughs> Spicy pepper steak. Hey! So I wonder if that's gonna qualify me to get it. Do not use the pilot? Why is that? Is he just not easy to play? What are you doing? Firewood. However, getting a free tree to follow exactly where you want is quite an art. Trick is to turn your hips so they face where you want the tree to land. Well, sure. Uh, why not? Oh, dang it. Okay. Very close, but not quite right. He just sucks. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Made a bridge. Hey, where are you going? Get back here. What are you doing? Use a break. Okay. So, I don't know how to get the dude's warm doublet. So, I might actually just Google how to do this real quick. Um, let's see. Warm... Double it. Let's see. Read the old man's diary. Warm doublet. Uh, let's see here. Cook spicy pepper, meat, and a Hyrule bass. Show to the old man and he'll give you the warm doublet. Interesting. So I need to go catch a Hyrule bass. Hmm. Alright, well, I'll do it. If I can catch a Hyrule bass. I don't even know where to begin looking for that, though, so... Uh, probably a water source of some type would be my guess. This also looks like kind of a suspicious area, so... You in the head. And, uh, you're gonna be a little more tricky. Let's see if we can just, like, roll this down the hill towards you. Ooh, that didn't really work. Hold on. Yep. Come on. Walk over to it. And then... Boom! <laughs> I love it. I've never actually... Um... Like, played the game like this before, where I'm just using, like, bombs and shit to 
attack people. So this is actually super cool. Nice. Nice. Heck yeah. Gosh, I forgot how much I love this game. I cannot wait to play the sequel. The sequel is 100% going to be a game that I play on stream. And I haven't fully decided how I'm going to do that either. I'm kind of hoping they're going to announce it. Like, like give us like a proper release date at some point kind of soon. I kind of feel like it's not going to happen for a while, unfortunately. Nice. Um, if I had to guess, we're probably not looking at a release date for like... I would say maybe not until next year, which would really suck. Ooh, bomb arrows. Come on. And a coarser bee honey. Okay. So, there is at least the option of, now that I've got this heat resistance, we probably could actually get up to that shrine just fine. And honestly, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to pick up the warm uh, doublet a little later. I'm just going to go ahead and eat this dish once we get up to, like, the area where it makes sense for us to eat it. God, we have such a little stamina. <laughs> this sucks. Also, I forgot how long it takes just to get through this. Like, this is such a big open area that I've, like, legitimately forgotten. It might take me the whole stream just to get through the tutorial area. So, the way I'm thinking about doing this is that um, I'm thinking that I'm going to... Uh, oh, hey, there's another shrine over there. Okay, so here's what I'm going to try to do. So I also see some spicy mushroom mushrooms, some spicy peppers here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mark this on the map. And we're just going to try to go for it. So we need to eat. Now, unfortunately, three and a half minutes of cold resistance is really not that much. I thought you might have been alive. Um, so I'm going to pick up this wood. Because I have a feeling we might need to potentially try to light a fire. And I think we just book it. Book it till the end here and hope that we can make it in three and a half minutes. I would like to think we can. If we can't, I've got plenty of food to eat. Hold on. You. So, there's a good reason for this. If we have any flint, which we actually don't. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, we could go ahead and light one of these fires. I do have a um, some fire arrows, so if we needed to, we could use those. Oh, cool. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Thank you. Alright, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to cook another cold resistance piece of food. I can do that, though. It's not too difficult. I'm just gonna run away from these guys. I don't feel like fighting them. I also can't wait until we get a horse. That might become, like, the big thing I definitely need to do. Because, uh... Moving on foot is kind of slow. <laughs> Can we make it over there, though? Oh, crap. Do we need... We might need Magnesis. 
Oh, interesting. Well, it's not going to surprise me too much if I need Magnesis. Will you just die? Thank you. Okay, that didn't really do anything at all. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Aha! Nice! There's so much I've forgotten about this game that I, like, legitimately just did not remember that this is, like, how you're supposed to play the game. Hello? Hold on, we need a better weapon. Um... No, shoot. Oh my gosh. Alright, so I'm gonna have to go find the Magnesis Shrine before I can do this. I wasted one of my hot dishes. That's okay, though. Um, I don't remember where the Magnesis Shrine is. I, I have it marked, I think. I have a shrine marked. I don't think it's the right shrine. Um, let me look at my map. Um, here we are. So... Yeah, there's a shrine all the way over here, and then there's this one over here. I'm actually going to head over here, because I don't know if this is going to be Magnesis, but this might still be a potentially important shrine. So I'm going to go over there, and then I'll I'll cook another hot dish and cross that bridge whenever we get there. I still think it's safe to say that this is, like, my favorite open-world game that's ever been made. Like, as far as being open world, it really is, like, open world. It's right next to the tower, really? Ooh. How dumb am I? Hold up. Oh, shoot, you're 100% right. Look at it. There it is. And, um... Okay, let's actually go and ahead and remove this pen for now. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's travel back over here. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. I, I know I'm not playing this game real great right now, but I, I promise I'm trying. <laughs> Would you believe that we've already been streaming for an hour, though? That's That's crazy to me. Like, it's nuts to me that this game is this well-developed, that, like, the tutorial is this long. <laughs> Help me out here. Okay, cool. Hmm. Scope on the Sheikah Slate. Well, I knew that. So, where is it? Yeah, it's right over there. You're 100% right, dude. Sorry about bumbling. So, in other words, I'm at 33 followers, which is really exciting. So, we only need 17 more before I can apply to become a Twitch affiliate. So, let's get there, boys. There's a high likelihood that we'll be able to get it. I'm also going to try to find one of those fish. I need a Hylian bass. Also, this looks like an area we've already been to, I suppose. Okay. Doesn't look dangerous at all. Nice. Uh, we might not have enough stamina. That's a thought that just hit me. I know! Isn't that crazy? Like, I love watching speedruns of this game, because, like, they do things 